boy. Well, I have to give my my boy Freddie and and the guys in Queen some uh, some love. So if I have to choose one Queen album, only one, only one. Yeah, impossible. <laughs> <laughs> and it, I'm cheating if I choose the greatest hits. <laughs> so, uh, no, no. <laughs> one, two, or three. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I probably have to go with Sheer Heart Attack. Sheer Heart Attack. Oh, it, yeah. it, it, you you would think I would choose the night at the opera or day at the races when yeah. they were already as big. Sheer Heart Attack was the the best of where they came from on the first two albums, and the best of where they were going on the next albums. I think everything that they they culminated from uh, from Killer Queen to bring back that Leroy Brown, they they were showing the world they were more than just a rock band. They could do something like Stone Cold Crazy and something just really mellow and 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 just silly almost and this was showing you that this band was not going to be limited to just doing one style or one genre of music and this is one of the reasons i get asked this question a lot of why i've done so many bands why i'm in so many albums why i can't just stay with one thing and i have to say i have to blame it on queen because uh queen were the they, they showed you that you don't have to put walls and boundaries in music they can you can do pop, rock, opera, blues, jazz, uh, country, yeah. disco, uh, funk. They, they did everything, <laughs> and they did it great. And this is one of the reasons I I try to do so much in my life musically because I don't want the world to see me as a metal guy. I don't want the world to see me as an R and B or soul or a pop singer or an R, uh, AOR singer uh, or A and R singer. I I don't want to see I don't want the world to see me as just one genre. I want the world to see me as the kind of all the the spectrums, the colors of the rainbow, the the colors of the flags. I want the world to see me with all <laughs> these different cultures that I was able to inject into my own music. And this is one of the reasons why I do so much. It's kind of the same reason why Mike Portnoy is doing so much after Dream Theater. You know, he felt he's in one band and he was in this band for almost for more than 20 years and doing one genre. They did a lot of stuff in their genre. But when he was out of Dream Theater, it's like, now I'm going to really do everything that I always wanted to do with every genre that that I love as a as a drummer. And this is the same reason I do so much as a singer. Yes, mm -hmm. but uh, okay. Mike, Mike doesn't have Boogie Night as you. Yeah, <laughs> you see, and that, there you go. And that's that's just another inflection, another side of me that I want the world to see. But if I was only doing Boogie Nights, I would feel like I'm cheating myself because yeah. I want to yeah. do Iron Maiden too. And I want to do Palmstein, <laughs> and I want to do Queen, and I want to do Journey. So, it's it's the reason I I do so much in my life. <laughs>